Today, we'll talk about researcher.life's manuscript optimization tool that basically checks your manuscript if it is submission ready and flags things that could be problematic when screened by the journal. It also provides recommendations on how to fix many of these issues, thereby significantly reducing the time to publication by eliminating all of the back and forth with journal editors. It eliminates the chances of desk rejection by helping you identify the right journal to submit to and basically takes away the stress from journal submission. Now let's see how it works. The first thing that you need to do is upload a file or your manuscript that needs to be checked. When setting up your new account on research.life, you'd be asked to do so. In case you chose to leave it then, you'd have this personalization widget on your dashboard that you can click in and upload your manuscript to be checked. I'm gonna upload a demo file over here. Once the file is uploaded and you click on next, the tool will start analyzing your manuscript. Now, this takes between two to five minutes, so you'll need to hang around and wait till this is ready. Meanwhile, I'll take you through a report that I had previously uh, generated so that you can understand how to read the report. Once the report is ready, you'll get assigned a score which indicates the status. Uh, does it require minor revisions, major revisions, or is it you know, in a reasonably good state ready to submit? It will also highlight things that need to be checked before you submit. So let's click into the report and see what the report has to say. The first parameter that it checks and recommends for is language. Here, the AI engine, which is optimized for academic language, uh, basically looks for readability, vocabulary, writing issues, tells you what could be improved and also provides a recommendation on how to fix it. If you take up the pro report, then you also get a word file, which has all of these changes as track changes in the word file. So you can easily accept and reject them and incorporate them into your paper. It's important to note that if you've had your paper edited by a professional editor, then it's important to go by their recommendations as the tool still requires you to basically um, take a judgment call on what are the right things to incorporate. The next uh, aspect that the tool checks for are what we call technical checks. Now these, as you can see, is a checklist of about 12 items that we screen for. This ranges from, you know, have you included the corresponding author email? Uh, is any language or any words in your paper, can it be considered offensive? Have you disclosed uh, and included a statement that shows how the reader can access uh, the sample data set for what's used in your study. So all of these are important across journals uh, when they're actually screening your paper. Now it's important to go back to the guidelines and see which of these are relevant to your submission, uh, but these are typically the best practices followed by most journals. The next thing is called the keyword and summary section, where our summarization tool basically extracts the key topics from within your paper and also provides you summaries uh, ranging from short 140 word summaries to much longer summaries, um, which can be used in your cover letter or while communicating your research externally. The next offering of the tool are journal recommendations. Here, based on the concepts we have identified in your paper, we match it to papers in published journals and we look at what is um, you know, a scope match between your paper and the journal. What we also provide is similar papers from that journal that you can refer to. The last aspect is around the plagiarism report, which is again available in our pro report. Uh, this is powered by the folks at Turnitin who also provide the authenticate reports. And um, it looks pretty much along these lines wherein you would get a similarity score and you can look at what, of the, what aspects of your paper have been flagged as plagiarized. So there you have it. This is the PubShow report, um, which helps you understand how to get your paper submission ready. So try it out on researcher.life and let us know um, how you're finding it. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, click on the FAQs and explore um, the questions that are already included. 
or write to us and share your feedback.